Hi guys, it's Mrs. Clace here with a art lesson for you to keep you learning art and keep you entertained at home. Um, I miss everybody so much um, give it, getting your hugs and saying hello to you in the morning. It's just not the same, but we're going to do art anyway. So today we are going to learn a little bit about Picasso. Um, I'm going to talk to you just a tiny bit about him and then we're going to do a drawing together. So Picasso is one of those art names you hear all the time. Picasso, Picasso, Picasso. But would you know a Picasso if you saw it? A lot of people don't know that Picasso had a lot of different art periods throughout his life. And some of the art in the beginning of his life looks way different than the art at the end of his life. I'm going to show you a couple different periods of his art just briefly. And then we're going to start the kind of Picasso art that we're going to do together in one second. So Picasso had a blue period. There was a part of his life where he was very sad. He was going through a lot of emotional distress and he painted in a lot of blue colors. This is kind of what they, this is what they look like and notice how they're in a lot of blue tones. So this is his, from his sad kind of his blue period. Then he went through another period called his rose period. And this was a happier time in his life. And look how the, the paintings just all have warmer colors um, and they have a lot of pink tones to them. And this was called his Rose Period. These are paintings that some people would maybe not even recognize as Picassos because these aren't the things that jump out at people as that is distinctly Picasso, but they're still Picassos. The ones we're gonna look at today are the ones that a lot of people more recognize as Picasso. And these are some of his face paintings. And we are gonna talk about this idea that Picasso loved, like in this painting, and it's called Cubism. Cubism is when you take your subject matter and you draw it or paint it from all different angles at once. What I mean by that is usually when we draw, say you were gonna draw my face, you would draw if you would either like draw it from the front or maybe I would turn from the side, you would draw from the side, but you would pick an angle and you would draw it that way. Or if you were drawing a teddy bear or a dog, you would draw it from one angle. Picasso thought, why do we have to just draw from one angle? I know, we'll mix all the angles together. I'll do the front angle, I'll do the side angle, I'll do all the angles at once and I'll put it in one picture and it will just blow everyone's minds, which it kind of did. Some people loved it, some people said, that Picasso, he's a little crazy, but it really changed the way a lot of people thought about art and the way they thought about making portraits. So we're gonna try to draw a portrait like that today where we show two, maybe three, different views at one time in a face. And you're gonna draw along with me. Okay, so here is the kind of Picasso portrait we're gonna draw today. Now, it doesn't have to be you. It could be anybody. It could be any a face of any human. So you could be thinking that you're drawing yourself or you could be thinking you're drawing someone in your family or just somebody from your imagination. But notice how this person, we see a front view. Look, she's looking right at you. We see a side view. Look, it's the side of her nose. So there's two different views in one picture. And I'm gonna show you how we can do that. You're gonna draw along with me, but you can change it up a little. You can add your own pizzazz to it and do your own things to it as we go, but you're gonna end up with a picture that has two different views in one. Then you can color and go off and do that on your own because that'll be your thing to do at home. So here we go. To get started, the first thing you're gonna need is a piece of just white paper, any kind of paper you can find at home. Whatever you can come up with is great, printer paper. And we're gonna start, since we're just drawing a face, we want the face to fill up the paper. No teeny tiny heads, big, big faces. So the first thing we're gonna draw is we're gonna make a big U, a big letter U on our paper. So this is gonna help us get started. Now, don't worry if it's a little wacky or wonky. Guess what? Picasso likes wacky and wonky, so that's fine. That's, that, that's great. Okay, so after you add your U, we're gonna add a little bit of a neck coming down from our U. And then maybe just add some kind of neckline. I think I'll make it a little pointed. Why not? And I'm gonna throw in some shoulders. Now, if I'm going too fast for you guys, or you wanna stop and you're like, oh man, I gotta erase that, just pause on your computer or your phone or whatever you're watching this on, and then just come back, it's fine. Um, so after we do this, we need to break it up into our two different views, the profile and the straight on. 
So a great way to do that is with the nose because the nose kind of tells us which way we're looking, right? So we're gonna come down the middle of the face and I'm gonna come down and I'm gonna add a nose. Oh, sideways kind of nose, right? And come down and I'm gonna stop. So everybody do that, add a sideways nose and it's like a profile nose. It could be a big nose, little nose, I don't care, just some kind of nose adding to the side. Now, if we're doing a mouth from the side, we would just see like the lips from the side, right guys? So add the kind of lips that you want. They could be big lips. They could just be thin lips, like a line. You could do them like they're talking. You could do them like they're closed. I think I'm gonna add a little bit of a lower lip here, making it different than my other one. And I added a little mouth. So see, it's a sideways mouth. It's not like a front big smile. It's a sideways mouth. And now what do we need on the side? We need a little chin. So we're gonna add a line coming down to give it a little chin action there. So now this side looks sideways, right? It doesn't look forward. All right, um, eyes. We need an eye on this one that is gonna go with our sideways or profile kind of eye. So what you can do to draw that, guys, is do a letter V. Look, I'm doing like a V. Okay, so that's gonna help my eye be more like a sideways kind of eye. Something like a V. Doesn't have to be just like mine, but this is gonna make an eye look more like it's from the side, because then we're gonna add a gentle curving line to it to make it look like it's a view from the side. And then I'm gonna just put a little line down here. Okay, so that, that would probably be the colored part of your eye. The cool thing about Picasso is nothing is super, super realistic. So do your best on this. And if, if you're looking at it thinking, oh, I don't know, Mrs. Clace, this looks kind of crazy. That's all right, that's okay, keep going. And now I'm gonna add a few eyelashes that are kind of looking forward. Okay, now I know all you out there say, oh, I'm a boy, I'm not gonna put eyelashes on it. It's up to you, but guess what? Everybody has eyelashes. <laughs> so, Flynn like that. Okay, then we are gonna do a front facing eye. This is when you do the old classic football shaped eye or a lemon shaped eye whatever you wanna think about. And it doesn't have to exactly be the same size. Picasso loved when one eye was bigger than the other. That was kind of one of his things. So we're gonna do a football shaped eye. I'm gonna put a little U inside of it for the colored part of my eye. And then I might make another one in here for the pupil, but it's up to you. You make the eye that makes you happy. I'm gonna put a little wrinkle back here for my eye, you know, where eye for your eye where it opens and shuts. And then again, coming in with some eyelashes. Okay, my friends. Now, when it comes down to the mouth down here, this side of my face is the sideways mouth. So I'm gonna go sideways with the mouth. You could do this whatever shape of mouth you want, but I just put some lips on there. Just coming off of my first mouth to make this one be forward. Okay, now, right now, our, our head is wide open. So we need to close that off with some profile or hair from the side and hair from the front. For hair from the side, my friends, you can do whatever you want. It could be bangs, it could not be bangs, but I'm gonna come up here, draw. I'm gonna give this person some hair that's coming across the head and then it's gonna come down. You know what? And it's gonna run right off the paper. Now, I could have made that a little bit bigger. I don't know, I'm drawing with a Sharpie. I don't love the size of that, but whatever, it's fine. It's gonna be good. And I'm gonna put a little shape of an ear in here poking out from underneath the hair. On this side, I need hair that's going forward. So I'm just gonna go up like this, come down, there's my hair. You guys, you can do short hair, long hair, poofy hair, straight hair, I don't care. So, and then again, need a little ear in here. So here's just my forward facing ear. So there's the ear from the side, forward facing ear. On this, ex on this sample, guys, one of the things Picasso did a lot is he put shapes inside. Shapes that you could add stripes to and colors to. So if you would like to, inside you can pick some places where maybe you add some simple shapes. Oh, I put a little shape in there. Um, I don't know, maybe I could put a big oval up here that I'll add stripes to. And maybe I'm going to put the big shape of a curl coming down here just to add a little life for things that could be different colors in my picture. So now I've got this 
kind of set up so I could add some stripes to some of my sections. If I have, if you have a marker at home, you could do that. I could color some of these sections. Um, and you could even add some details. I know you girls and guys are always asking me, can I put glasses on mine? Can I put an earring on mine? Can mine, you know, can mine wear a hat? Yeah, sure. But remember, you're doing half of its profile and half of its forward. So at this point, guys, you could go off, you could start coloring. You could add some stripes in some of your shapey sections you made and have fun with it, guys. Do a background too, add color to the background. Um, and the last thing I wanna show you, look, just for you, I wore my Picasso socks today. I have lots of art socks. Our teachers have some weird clothes, but look, it's my Picasso socks. One eye is bigger than the other. They're very Picasso. I thought you'd love to see them. I miss you guys. Love you. Bye.